Hi guys, it's Monday, so it's time to talk about some hockey stuff. Right then, so I want to start off by talking about Idik Beer's Terrain Square Challenge, or Circle Challenge. I'm not sure which one it is. He seems to change it up each year. Um, so I'm going to be joining in on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this year I wanted to uh, enter with something orky. So I have, uh, this is my basically letting you guys know that I'm planning on entering something orky for the Gork and Morka table um, into that. It's a really quick one there. Um, I also wanted to let you know, if you've seen the... Um, the thumbnail for this video you'll know that i'm not actually doing a video on the big rig um, and the different modules but i wanted to let you know that i haven't forgotten about last week's video and i just wanted to go over the main ideas and the suggestions that people had actually submitted because uh, there were some fantastic ones in there so uh, just the the main ones we had a portable mech boy and pain boy shop <laughs> i really like that uh, those ideas a mobile fort that was pretty cool. So having some actual walls and some fortifications, maybe some proper, um, a proper defensible area, and even with a place for um, for trucks to drive up inside, and even widening it as well. I had somebody suggest that I widen the uh, the trailer uh, to make it fit a lot more in. That would be pretty cool. An orc racing team trailer. <laughs> I'm not even sure where to begin on that one, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I've got ideas in my head of maybe my son's got this like uh, trailer. Uh, it's meant for cars, and the back comes down, and then the sides fall down, and it's like this workshop inside, um, with all sorts of crap going on. But it opens up into this whole big thing. Um, but I can do hinges with styrene tubes and whatnot, so I could actually have this elaborate like opening up nonsense. So uh, that's uh, that could be a thing. Um, the squig trailer, which we discussed last time and the truck trans the the truck transporter transporter of trucks um which is something i discussed way back when which would be to have some kind of system whereby <clears throat> it's a double decker truck transporter where the part of it goes down like a like a modern transporter where you fill up so that it falls down you fill up the top level top level jacks up and then you fill up the bottom level your kids have all sorts of versions of it where um, you have it. So there'll be a mechanism involved, which again appeals to my engineery type side. Um, so that's cool. Right then, on to the subject, or the main subject for this video. I don't know how long I just talked there before getting onto this. <laughs> but in my last video, not last week's video, but my last video, I announced that I'm looking to start up the stencil business again. And uh, not just custom stencils that I, which is what I did before, which I stopped doing, but actually doing like default patterns as well that people could buy um, and as this is uh, a Gorka Morka video that I'm doing today I decided to turn my attention to doing some orky stencils so I basically decided why not have a go at some checks so this stencil is twofold there's two bits to it like that uh, and rather try and, than try and explain how the two bits work together I've worked up a video basically showing how how they work by actually doing some airbrushing. Now, I didn't do it with any audio because I've got a cheap airbrush with a cheap compressor and the compressor is loud as hell. So I'm going to play the video now and talk over it um, and hopefully that'll explain how they work together and you'll get an idea. Um, <clears throat> these are a little big. I was just doing it as a sort of tester. Um, I'm hoping to make them a lot smaller. Um, Although this, these might work for terrain, I don't know. They're actually six mil by six mil at the moment. I can go, I can go a lot smaller than that. Um, but yeah, so I'll roll the tape as it were and show you. Right, so there's. I want to put a stencil at the top, so I'm basically just lay down the basic checks. Uh, so I'm going in with a thin layer, uh, brushing it with just air to make it dry. Literally, we're going to watch paint dry. And then I went in with a heavier layer of black. But for this bit, I just wanted to get down the um, the basic checks. Again, we're watching paint dry as I spray it with just air. And then I went in with some really heavy black. Now, I, I wasn't expecting to talk over this bit. I was expecting to be doing it in real time. So I went a little bit crazy at some points in this with the thickness of the paint, which actually makes the stencil quality uh, suffer. Because I wasn't expecting to speed these bits up as I have. Um, so that's why you're seeing me go a little bit crazy 
at times. So that's basically just using it as a, a check. So now this is where I'm going to show you what the second bit's for. It has two purposes. The first, or rather two parts to it. The first bit here is basically setting down the borders, as it were, for the um, the bits that you're going to have the checks on. So uh, three different bits here I'm going to be doing. So I'm laying down three uh, sections that I want to have my checks on. So I'm laying down the black backgrounds for that. Again, I'm rushing, laying down the paint too thick, and there's a few bits there where you can see the paint's gone a little bit awry. And I lay the check stencil on top, and then I come back on top again with the uh, the masking stencil, then I come back in with grey. Now I'm using grey because my white ran out, um, <laughs> much to my dismay. And then you come back in on top again, and you hit it with the grey. Now, again, I go absolutely mental here because I wasn't expecting to speed this up, and I thought that everybody would be getting a little bit bored. And that is basically how that came out. Right, and so that is how it's meant to be used together. I've got the end result here. <laughs> As you can see um because i was because i hit that with such force at the end <laughs> so close a little bit bled underneath there um i've got another example here we can see whoop, where that didn't happen i took a little bit more time over it uh this was my tester beforehand but i did go a little bit mental with the paint on this one and because i did that you can see where the stencil has this uh, ring around the outside oh and look i got some gothic uh, numbers over here as well and that's basically how the how the stencil is designed to, to work together. Uh, the two parts, first laying down a uh, a background with this one, and then using the two together, they lie perfectly on top of each other. If I have it the right way around, like that, they lay perfectly on top of each other. There we go. So that you get the uh the checks uh in line with one another so you end up with two a layer of two checks a layer of three or a layer of four of course you could simply uh just put masking tape straight onto this stencil here but i wouldn't be confident when when peeling it off that you won't end up with uh some of these popping out i mean they, they are pretty hardy i can i can pull that fairly hard it won't lose any uh it won't deform at all but yeah, so those are what I've been working on. Again, I'm looking to make this a lot smaller and of course that will be a lot smaller and maybe having some different shapes going on with these as well. Uh, because at the moment these are full length as well. So you, you've only got the full length. I mean, an idea might be maybe to apply tape to this to, uh, to get the desired shape and size. And then when it's laid over the top of that, that will give you the shape that you want. I don't know. So that was basically what I was working on. Again, there's a lot of work to be done to it to make it um, ready for sale. But I wanted to show you guys, get your opinions on what you thought of it. The concept of this second piece here, whether it adds anything to the stencil in your opinion. Um, because otherwise it's just a, a basic check stencil. Although there's, there's value in that, let's be honest. <laughs> um, right. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Right. I said right really, really often in this video. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I haven't got rid of that uh, chesty cough yet. Okay. Yes. Keep up with me on these over here. Um, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay well, guys.